Everybody's all set? I did not have a chance to watch uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu's speech. I was uh, on a uh, video conference with uh, our European partners with respect to Ukraine. I did have a chance to take a look at the transcript. Uh, and uh, as far as I can tell, uh, there was nothing new. Uh, the Prime Minister, I think, appropriately pointed out uh, that the bond between the United States and America uh, is unbreakable. Uh, and on that point, I thoroughly agree. Uh, he also pointed out that Iran has been a dangerous regime and continues to engage in uh, activities that are contrary to the interests of the United States, uh, to Israel, and to the region. Uh, and on that, we agree. Uh, he also pointed out the, uh, the fact that Iran has repeatedly threatened Israel uh, and engaged in uh, the most venomous of anti-Semitic uh, statements. Uh, and uh, no one can dispute that. Uh, but on the core issue, which is how do we prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon, which would make it far more dangerous and would give it scope for even greater action in the region, uh, the Prime Minister didn't offer any viable alternatives. With the help of Congress and our international partners, we constructed an extraordinarily effective sanctions regime that pressured Iran to come to the, naval, uh, to, to the table to negotiate in a serious fashion. They have now been negotiating over the last year, and during that period, Iran has, in fact, frozen its program, rolled back some of its uh, most dangerous, highly enriched uranium, and subjected itself to the kinds of verifications and inspections that we had not previously seen. Keep in mind that when we shaped that interim deal, Prime Minister Netanyahu made almost the precise same speech about how dangerous that deal was going to be. Chance to read the Prime Minister's remarks at least. Do you feel like this? Now, the deal that we are trying to negotiate that is not yet completed would cut off the different pathways for Iran to advance its nuclear capabilities. It would roll back some elements of its program. It would ensure that it did not have what we call a breakout capacity that was shorter than a year's time. And it would subject Iran to the most vigorous inspections and verifications uh, regimes that uh, have ever been put in place. Now, the alternative that the Prime Minister offers is no deal, in which case Iran will immediately begin once again pursuing its nuclear program accelerate its nuclear program without us having any insight into what they're doing. Thank you. Thanks.